Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this little fella. It's the Henry Extend Corded Vacuum Cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that he offers. But all I'd normally do, just before we start, is just give us a quick subscribe on a YouTube channel. Uh, what I do is I normally talk about things like vacuum cleaners, household appliances, and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. So Henry Cleaners themselves have been around for quite a few years now, and I'm pleased to say that the design hasn't really changed a huge amount. Uh, I think they have updated the motor several times, uh, but the actual design and the look of the vacuum they haven't really changed, because it works. Uh, we do find that we still sell loads of Henrys, uh, especially if you are uh, looking for something a bit, uh, a bit more robust. Uh, we do sell a lot of cordless vacuum cleaners, and if you follow me on YouTube for a while, you know I'm quite an advocate of the, the cordless concept. But if you're after something where you want to use a vacuum in, say, quite a dirty area, uh, or for things like brick dust, uh, then really Henry is the way to go. So if you've not seen a Henry before, or not used one, then I'll just show you around the vacuum himself, first of all. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll talk about the tools and accessories that they come with. Uh, so what you'll find is that you've got a handle on top, so if you need to, when you want to carry him, then that's, that's nice and easy to do. Uh, I will be honest and say that he's not the lightest vacuum on the market. Uh, if it was purely weight orientated that you wanted to go for, then this probably isn't one for you. You're looking uh, between seven and a half and eight kilograms, depending on the, the tools and accessories that, uh, that you're using. Uh, but then as far as the, the cord, so on this model, you do actually get a 10 meter mains lead. Uh, so, for, you know, even for, for a lot of people, 10 meters is should be more than enough. I always like the fact that it's a manual rewind uh, on the top here. I remember some of the old vacuum cleaners where you used to press the button and you had the, the rewind of the cord going in. And although initially that might sound good, uh, that was normally the first thing to fail on the vacuum. And when the, when the button goes or when the mechanism goes inside, on not on the Henry cleaners, this is on, on other brands, uh, then you'll find it's really, really annoying because you have to either wrap the cable around the vacuum or... Uh, it, it just gets really frustrating so again I'm um, and I suppose that's the main reason that uh, pneumatic have kept the kept the manual rewind on the top here also uh, you've actually got the on and off switch so that's just on the top there uh, you will notice on some models you have got the the high and the low option that's normally where the other button sits but on this model it's just on and off uh, to take the take his top off, I suppose to, to take his head off, all you do is you just pull the clips out either side like that and then lift it up and then you've got the filter inside here. Now the beauty of Henry is what you can do is you can use it with or without the bags. Uh, it's always going to be recommended with the bags, uh, let's just show you that. So you've got the bag in here uh, these are the, the main bags that we recommend. Uh, there's quite a few different types on the market. If you're after the, I suppose, the better filtration, then try and stick with these. Uh, well, I'll, I'll post a link here to show you where to get some competitive prices. Uh, but with these, they, they do expand within the, uh, the base of Henry himself. Uh, but as I say, you don't have to use the bag. That's the beauty of the Henry cleaner. Um, but as I say, it's normally recommended, especially if you're doing some very dirty work. Uh, we've been using one of these models at home. Uh, when we've been doing the, we've had an extension at home and there's been a lot of brick dust and things around. And if you can just take the bag out, then it's so much easier. Uh, plus with this filter, so this is all washable. Uh, I suppose the best thing is to keep an eye on this because what you'll find is that the, the suction itself will reduce quite a lot when the filter needs to be cleaned. Uh, what we'd always say is just take this outside, uh, give it a good shake out. When it is full, and especially when you've got a lot of uh, things like brick dust on it, then you will find that it's a, it's a very messy job to do it. So definitely do it outside. Uh, once you've done that, then what you can do is you can just give it a give it a quick rinse. Um, then what you'll find is you do need to leave it to dry uh, for quite a while. I'd normally recommend it around 24 hours. Uh, after you've done that, then just pop the pop the filter back in the top there, and then Henry's head just pops on the side. Make sure you've got the clips out at the side to start with, 
and you just push them in and then you're ready to go. So the, the design itself, I, I still love it. Uh, it's just one of those vacuums that, uh, that works. Plus what you'll find is it's on wheels at the bottom. So you've got these rubber wheels at the back. So I'm, and again, I'm glad they stuck with these because they've done these for several years now. So even if you're on things like wooden or laminate floors, then it's not going to scratch at all. And then you've just got the like, casters at the front here. Uh, but just while, while around the back, you have got tool storage. Uh, so you can store a couple of tools and the main one on the back there. And that's really leading on to the tools. So I'll show you what comes with a vacuum now. So with all Henry vacuums, then you do get this hose with it. Uh, the idea is, and I'll just show you this if you've not seen the Henry before, is that you just screw this onto the front here. I suppose it's his nose, really. So all you do is you just you just screw that on until it's just hand tight, and then what you can do is you can go and vacuum. Uh, now what you do is you've actually got an extra hose that comes with this, and that's part of what they call the extend to this model. And it comes with this extra hose as well. So there's a lot of hose involved. Uh, and what you can do, so just to give you an idea, this is just over two meters long, and then you get an extra 1.5 meters as well. And the idea is, you get this joining piece in between, and that just slots into one end, slots into the other, uh, so, and then that just extends it. And I must admit, I do really like that. When I first saw it, um, I thought, I'll be honest, I thought it was a little bit crude on the way to join the two, uh, but when you actually see it, and you're actually using it, uh, they, these are quality items, uh, you know that these will last for several years. Uh, but yeah, just the way they join I think is a, a very simple and easy design. Uh, what you also get with a vacuum are the, the metal hoses. So these are the main hoses that you tend to use. So what you do is you just show you that. So pop those to the side. So. When you want to use the vacuum itself, then you just pop that in there, and then the the main floor head. So the main floor head will attach onto the end here. At the top of the handle, which is normally where you're holding it, then you will notice you've got a collar, and there is a plus and a minus. And what you can do is you can actually twist it. So you just twist it like that, um, and what that will do that's almost like a suction reducer. Uh, so if you just wanted it, the maximum suction, then you just twist it so it points to the plus. And what that is, the main advantage, because the suction on these are really good, I mean, they still use the 620 watt motor in these models, which is generally pretty standard across the, across the range. Uh, but for some people, the suction might be a little bit too much. So what you can do is you can just move the collar and what you'll feel is when, when you're actually using it, you'll you'll feel some of the air is escaping. And all that's doing is that's just reducing the suction for you. So again, a really good idea. Um, as far as the, the main head, so that's the main floor head that comes with it. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, you've not got any rotating brushes or anything on this model. Uh, you will find you have got an adjustment. So depending on which type of floor you're on, you just flick the switch there, and then you've got the brush that pops up and if you didn't want that, then just clip the, the switch and then those brushes will pop back up into the head. So you've got a couple of options there. Uh, as far as the other accessories that it comes with, you've just got this, this mini tool. Uh, that's just a plastic tool, so there's no brushes or anything on there. Uh, that could be good for things like stairs, uh, where you just need a, a slightly wider tool. And as well as that accessory, it does actually come with a brush as well. Uh, and the idea is that what you do is you just push that onto the side there so that just attaches on and then you've got quite a, quite a stiff bristle brush um, I like that one uh, I suppose the, the main example I normally use is if you've got say a, a dried muddy footprint uh, where the kids come in and they're not taking the shoes off when they should have by the front door uh, and then if it's dried then it can be quite difficult to get up but something like that's really good because it's quite a, a stiff bristle brush and then when you want to take that off, then that just pulls off at the side. It can be quite a bit stiff, uh, but I suppose that's good to keep it all in place. Uh, as well as the, as well as that, you've got the standard crevice tool. Uh, that's a, 
quite a mainstay with most vacuum cleaners, doesn't matter whether it's corded or cordless, uh, most brands will use that kind of tool and that's really good for getting down the side of settees or sofas. Uh, so the next one is this, so uh, that's a, a slightly softer bristle brush. Uh, if you, I suppose if you vacuum in a bit more of a delicate area, uh, I mean here but in our showroom we've got some, some hobs on display and I suppose if you vacuum in any kitchen then that's the, the main one to use. And the last tool that the Henry Extend comes with is this, this is called a multi-angle tool. And the idea of this, again it's got quite soft bristles, uh, I wouldn't say they're as soft as the this one that I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, but yeah they're still still very soft so if you're going around certain areas for example in the kitchen then that's still quite a good one to use but really the idea of this and what they do is they call it the multi-angle tool is that this will rotate at the top there so if you if you've got the wand connected so if you've got the main hose then I suppose what you can do is you can actually go on top of cupboards so if they're quite a, an area that's quite difficult to get hold of uh, also you can go under places so if you're going under the bed and if you struggle with your back then that could be a, a good one to use. So again I'm really glad that they've put it in with this because that's something that uh, to be fair other manufacturers have come up with this kind of tool and it goes down really well. So if you're thinking of buying one of these vacuums then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Henry Extend corded vacuum cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video leave any comments below. I always ask for comments whether it's good or bad about the video itself. I'm not going to show you in action uh, but really what I wanted to do was just to show you around the vacuum uh, with all the tools and accessories that they come with because there's quite a lot to talk about with this vacuum. Uh, but if you have got a Henry it doesn't have to be this one. If you have got one then let, let me know what you think about it because I do always appreciate the feedback. Also if you have got any questions on the Henry vacuums then just post it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.